Hey guys, welcome to the uh, Realtor Squared podcast, uh, where we kind of dive into some articles that seem to kind of bring you a little bit of insight on what's going on with the current market. Uh, I found this particular article that I found, um, I wouldn't say funny, but I guess troubling in the sense of where rent in Toronto continues to rise as the average rental price in Canada hits a record high. Um, as most people usually do discuss real estate and what's going on, we know that we've been in quite a decline since March of 2022. Um, so seeing that the rents are continually going up is kind of a little alarming um, and a little bit strange so it on this article here it says that toronto continues to be the second most expensive rental uh, market in canada uh, which we we know um, it's up a 12 percent high uh, percentage up from last year uh, looking at 2024 dollars uh, for all rental types um, now that is a little alarming when you know you can get a, a mortgage let's say on a property for four hundred thousand at maybe fifteen hundred sixteen hundred depending on what you're approved for um, but what we always see my partner and myself is unfortunately the gap from renting on owning it always comes down to the down payment um, so if you could see here as we go a little bit deeper into the article the Vancouver and Toronto rents are up twenty four point three percent and 23.7 compared to last year. So a one bedroom rents for 2,661 in Vancouver, and in Toronto, um, you're looking at 2,551. Now, as we get deeper into the article, it kind of breaks down further um, the types, the different areas, what you're looking at. Uh, so for example, Brampton, they've gone up about 28%, North York, 25%, Etobicoke, 24%, Scarborough 22.9 and Mississauga 19.2. Overall, the average rent in Canada increased last month by 2.5% uh, compared to October. So what we continue to see is even in this declining market that the rents do continue are continuing to go up. Um, so what we could recommend is home ownership is a little bit more attainable than most people think. Um, what we would recommend is get in touch with a professional, um, reach out, like, comment, and um, we could definitely have a conversation because we've uh, ourselves had clients that have been able to purchase a home for as little as 5% down. Now, like I mentioned earlier in this video, the biggest kind of disconnect we see in renters as homeowners is that down payment. So if it's something where you can maybe get a friend to to purchase with you a family member it would definitely be more beneficial because now paying that rent you are essentially paying someone else's mortgage which in return doesn't leave you with anything at the end of that year so if you're paying a thousand dollars a month times 12 at the end of the year you've paid twelve thousand dollars into somebody's mortgage whereas if you own that property that would be equity that you would be able to then either refinance to pull out or you could continue paying down your own mortgage, which would give you a bigger nest egg. Um, so, you know, it is very interesting to see. We have kind of this breakdown graph. It gives you all of uh, the different areas from, you know, Vancouver, Toronto, Burnaby, Etobicoke, Markham, Mississauga. And it kind of gives you the stats on what the rent is going for and how much it's increased. Um, if you or someone you know is somebody who is renting, um, and is kind of feeling the, the stress or maybe, you know, the, the financial pull of just renting and wanting to get on their own. Like I mentioned earlier, please reach out. We're happy to get you in contact with all of our professional brokers that we use um, and kind of some of the tools that we have to help renters to now become buyers. We also have seen some rent to own programs um, that we could explain a little bit more for anybody who might want to know. Um, so I'll leave uh, all the information down in the bottom below. Like, comment, click. You could set up a, a free Zoom that would help you kind of get a little bit further because in real estate, there is no one size fits all. Um, and we're always happy to just educate and help people as best as we can because home ownership is one of the biggest assets that you're going to own. And we do firmly believe, especially as realtors, everybody has the right and should own their own property. We'll catch you on the next one, guys.